absolutely no difference now for me playing like this than if I was playing natively from the PS5 direct to this external display without using the capture card. It's the same experience, only now I get to capture all of this wonderful footage for you guys on YouTube. Hey folks, Simon here. Today I'm going to be showing you the Neostream CCD30 capture card, external capture device that you can plug in to a phone or your computer in order to capture footage from, for example, a video game console. Now Neostream did send this to me as a sample so that I could, well, you know, make this video for you. Okay, so right now we've got the pretty standard setup. The captured device is still in the box. I haven't touched that yet. I've just got my PS5 console hooked up to an external display. All as you would expect, what we're going to do is get my laptop out, connect it to the capture card and connect the capture card to the PS5 so that we can capture gameplay footage directly onto my laptop. So I've already got an HDMI cable here, which you will have as well. This is the one that came bundled with your PS5. So we're gonna need that along with an additional HDMI cable if we want to go for pass-through, which is optional, but the great thing is the capture card actually comes with that additional HDMI cable. Right, so getting into the box here, let's see how things are presented. Yep, we have that HDMI cable that I told you about. We have the USB cable that's going to connect the capture card. And of course, we have the capture device itself. So let's just pop that out, take a first look at it. We've got the HDMI out, so that's for our pass-through. I'll explain that in a bit. We have the USB-C, which goes to our computer. See, we have the little PC icon right there. And then we have some other inputs as well, or rather a microphone input and a headphone output. And just to confirm, this is not a standalone unit, so there's no internal storage. This is specifically used for capturing content onto an external device, such as a phone or computer. We're gonna go ahead now and get the capture card connected into my laptop and PS5 and see how that process works. So we're gonna start by unplugging the HDMI cable from my external display. I'm going to keep it connected to my PS5 console. I've just disconnected it from this monitor here. And what we're gonna do is plug this into the HDMI import on the side here. Okay, so don't get confused. Don't put this into the HDMI out port. That's for pass through as I mentioned. This goes into the import just like that. And we'll pop that down here. And then we're going to use our included USB cable now, it does have an adapter on the end, so you can connect this into Type-C or into Type-A USB on your device. However, the end that doesn't have the adapter always goes into the capture card through Type-C. So I'm going to plug this cable into the USB-C port on the device, on the capture card rather, and I'm gonna plug the other end into my laptop. Now, what I will say is make sure you're using a fast USB port on your device. In my case, this is Thunderbolt 4, so more than up to the challenge. Okay, and I've got that hooked up now. Obviously, there's still no picture on this display here, and actually, there's no picture on the laptop right now. That's because we need to actually set things up just a little bit. This is a plug and play device, but it is still going to need some software that can show us the video image. And in my case, I'm going to be using OBS Studio, which is free software. And I'm going to select add a scene here. And we don't want my webcam, but the near stream has shown up. So let's select that there. And yeah, I can see we have a video image and we'll make that a little larger as well. Okay, so I'm back in AstroBot. Fantastic game, by the way. And I can play this without any issues, just using my capture screen okay because there's no notable latency here whatsoever and so you do want to connect this to at least a 3.1 version usb port that will give you that latency free experience but what's great about this is it's going to support both pass through and capture at up to 4k 60 frames per second in hdr as well if you want that how easy was that to set up just plug that in and yeah away we went i can now record this footage in obs Okay, by hitting start recording, I can start streaming. And as long as I've set this up to say YouTube or Twitch or somewhere else, then it will start streaming to that service. And the viewer is going to get an absolutely perfectly crisp image thanks to this capture device. But what if I want to use the pass-through feature? Well, this is where the HDMI out port is going to come into play. So what we're gonna do is plug our HDMI cable into that. 
I'm going to plug the other end of the HDMI cable into the external display. And with any luck, uh, that should pop up in both places. There we go. Yes, it took about two seconds. Yeah, this is flawless. The actual setup took seconds. Okay, it truly is plug and play. No issues there whatsoever. And with that done, I now have my pass through working. Absolutely no difference now for me playing like this than if I was playing natively from the PS5 direct to this external display without using the capture card. It's the same experience. Only now I get to capture all of this wonderful footage for you guys on YouTube. And you can actually see the results here. How does this look? A little bit of Astro Bot, not too bad. I've got to say, this is such a fun game. I can see why it won game of the year. And it's a perfect example to test out here with this new capture card. Such vibrant colors, stunning gameplay, and a perfect capture, I've got to say. You know, it took about five minutes, didn't it, to get everything set up from the moment we opened the box with the capture card to where we are now. And this is just working absolutely flawlessly. There'll be a little bit of glare on the screens now as I've just popped some studio lighting back on. But what do you think of the Neostream CCD30 capture card? It was so easy to set up and I think the results here absolutely speak for themselves. And don't forget, this was my example that I showed you today with the PS5 and a laptop computer. But this thing is pretty much universally compatible. So if you want to use an HDMI device that isn't PS5, maybe an Xbox, a Switch or something else, then you can use that with this product. And you don't have to use a computer to do the capturing either. You can even hook this up to a mobile phone. So a lot of great features here. Hopefully the video has been helpful to you. This has been the Neostream CCD30 capture card, and I'll see you next time.